lovely to be chatting with you both. Um, welcome to the second season, I guess. Um, how uh, has it been coming back to the show for you two? Um, f for me, for me, just pure. I had such an amazing time making season one that to to get to do it again was just oh, pure joy. And it's so it's 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 so um so nice to think that there's an appetite for more, basically, you know, because like you spend six months uh, ferreting away in a studio in Wales, thinking that what you're doing might be all right, but like not knowing if it makes sense, <laughs> if it's interesting, if it's funny, whatever. So like for for it to have been received so positively, um, to the extent that we got recommissioned, thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a fantastic series. I loved the first um, season as well. And uh, I've seen the first episode of the second season. It's a great start. Um, Pavel, did you just want to explain where we find your character in the start of the second season? Okay, so at the end of the first series, um, uh, we see Jewel. So the, everybody's caught in this three week time loop, which has been caused by uh, two singularities coming together or, or something like that happening. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> and George, as uh, as a means to try and help himself cope emotionally with that, has given the serum to his partner Sarah, who was previously what I would call a civilian, to give her the knowledge of what's what's happening, so that he can share that with with her. Actually, ex partner at this time. Um, so we pick off like uh two seconds after that at the beginning of series two. Um, so Sarah knows what's happening. Um uh George then has to like come clean about all the stuff he's done at the end of series one, including what he's framing Shiv, murdering Shiv, setting off the nuclear bomb, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, um, to give Lazarus Project all the information. And then they all join forces um to to try and figure out how to reverse the the damage that's been done by 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 these competing singularities. Yeah, quite conveniently for George, there's not really too many repercussions to face because well, we have to stop humanity from being wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah, <laughs> very, very well explained. I, I was going to ask actually, um, Angelique, follow how how easy is it is it for you to follow a script like this that has got like so many like time loops and that sort of stuff in it? Um, well, I I do love a brain uh, cruncher, and I feel like this season two is is as many a crunches to be had. Um, and there's something quite satisfying when you finally crack it, when you work out exactly what's going on and we all got our heads together and um, and figured out what what loop we were on because there were many. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a Rubik's Cube workout of the brain. Yeah, yeah, it certainly must be for looking through the script for this. I mean, um, when it comes to actually filming those sort of time loops, I mean, obviously when you're filming something, you do a lot of takes of something. But I mean, Papa, particularly for you, uh, that op that's opening scene of you shooting uh, Shiv uh, and and that stuff in the apartment. How many times do you it, it, are you having to do that compared to what you would do just on a normal sort of one shot? Because you're doing it with slightly different variations each time. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, and interestingly, I think those were some of the first scenes that we shot in in the series. We started off in George, George's apartment. So poor um, Rudy Domlingham, who has to play Shiv, had to spend days covered in blood and days like being splattered with brains and days um, groaning about being shot again and again. So like it, it was hard for me. It was probably harder for him. Um, but yeah, I, I suppose like that is that is the that is such a satisfying conceit, you know the 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 quick repeats and the quick the quick resets. Um, um, I think is satisfying both for, for from a performance perspective and from a viewer's perspective. So obviously, the show is written by Joe Barton. I, I'm actually interviewing Joe later. Uh, I wondered if either of you would like to have an opportunity to put a question to Joe <laughs> about sort of something about your characters or, or something that you uh, you would like to maybe pitch for in the next season. Or <laughs> oh, that's 
I, I would selfishly really like Archie to go to some other countries. <laughs> and Anthony wants Archie to have a mission in the Maldives. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. The Caribbean yeah. or Mexico. I should have it. I, 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 I want a real question though. What um um <laughs> they're all so stupid. Um, Sheep is fine. That's okay. Uh, Sheep is fine, is it? Um, like. <laughs> Like what? I I just want to know a little bit more about like George's like previous relationships. <laughs> okay. Relationships. okay. Whether, uh, like who ended it? No, just like how? What? Like has he has he had a lot of them? Um, was he? Did he behave in a similar way as he has it with <laughs> with 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 Sarah? I'm just, I I just want to know what the backstory of his uh relationship to Sarah is. Right. right. I, I will try and pitch that to him and see what he says. Please, please, please. <laughs> I've got an awesome. no idea. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, I think that's my time, so I shall let you get back to it. But thank you for spending a little bit of time chatting to me. I'm really looking forward to the new season. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.